everybody this is Bonnie and I'm back with another punch book idea um, this is not one of my original ideas I saw this on Split Co um, it's a group that I belong to through Stamp It Up and it is the cutest little bah humbug um, little guy and I thought oh my gosh that is so cute I've got to do it and it's done with stamping up punches so um, Let's get started. I'm just going to add this into my punch book. This is mine for my own reference. So let's get started on how I did it. First thing we're going to do is you need to punch out two um, keypad punches. I know this is retired, so if you don't have this punch, you can always cut a two by one and a half inches. I think that's what I've said in my other videos. I'm not quite sure. I'd have to write that on the on the side but anyways you need two of these and the first one is going to be for the body and then you need two in black and the word window punch and all I'm going to do is just use a little snail and I'm going to attach these for the arms on the back of him like this this is only the second time I've made him so bear with me <laughs> Then you need a large oval, and this is for his face. And then you need to make the scarf. Now, how I made the scarf on his, um, for him, I'll just show you guys. I took the large oval punch, and I punched it out. Then, you don't need that piece. Throw that piece away. Then you take the wide oval punch, and you go right over top. See how I'm going over top like that? get it straight here I'm not looking at it and then you punch that out so you end up with a piece like this so then when you get this piece you want to take it and you want to come up to about this far on the oval and cut that off and then just come over here and snip a piece going that way so then you have two pieces when you're done this one is gonna hook around the bottom or the back side of his neck and cover up the lower part of his chin so like so I'll show you how to do that so just put a little snail adhesive on here now you'd use whatever kind of adhesive that you like that works best for you and just apply it see how I did that so it looks like that and then we're gonna take this piece and we're gonna put it right on the bottom of him so it goes like this. So see how it looks like the scarf is flying in the air? <laughs> so that's how I made my scarf. Now the original one for the hair used a uh, leaf punch, the um, Sizzix leaf punch. Well, I don't have it, so I've created my own, and I'm going to use the scalp circle punch. And what I'm doing is I'm cutting upward and then I'm counting four, one, two, three, four, and then I'm cutting over to that one. And that'll give me one, and then I'm gonna do it again, one, two, three, four, and I'm cutting over to the point. I hope you saw that. So we're gonna end up with this, and I just want these two pieces. And these are gonna be my hair for my little guy. I thought if I had saw this before Christmas, I would have sent this to my uncle for for Christmas for him he would have got a kick out of this but I didn't notice it till later so I just wanted to add it to my punch book so I can send it next year so anyways then we got the hair on like that and we're gonna take the small oval and we're just gonna apply a little piece to the bottom and we're gonna put this on the top of his head. So now we're going to create his little hat here. So see, you see how he's coming together? He's so cute. <laughs> then, then we're going to take and we're going to take the other tag punch and we're going to cut off a pretty good piece, about that much, off the bottom of it. We don't need that. Then you're just going to eyeball Kind of make a little oval upward, kind of like that. 
and then flip it right over and do the same thing. I'm just eyeballing it. It doesn't have to be perfect. I think it looks good if it's a little off. So you see how I kind of formed like a top knot, top cap? And then we're gonna apply that. Before we apply it, take a little adhesive and run it on the back of your, of the gray word window punch that you needed. Apply this to the, to the top hat. Trim off the excess by just following your trail. So it has like a little top hat thing. And then you just add it to the top. Oh, is that not super cute? So you have a little uh, top notch there. Then we're going to take, I'm going to take a little dimensional, very tiny dimensional. There. And first, got this quarter inch punch. It's going to be his nose, so you know what I'm doing. I'm snipping off the very tip of it. So it looks like that, if you could tell. And then I'm going to take a very tiny Cut a little tiny piece of the dimensional here. And we're gonna put it right down in the middle. This is gonna be his nose. So if you could see right there. Then I'm going to take my black marker. I have a little parrot next to me, if you hear her. And I'm just gonna give it some little eyes, draw it in, then I'm going to give it a, a and you know, I haven't decided if I wanted to give it a little bit, I could use like a little chalk maybe or something to make the face pop a little bit more, but this is what I've done to it so far. No. Then I'm going to put some snail on the back of this. And put it right on top of the body, like so. And then I drew freehanded these little, um, these little, uh, what do you call them? Hollies. <laughs> I had to think of what they were called. Um, and then put these up on his hat. Okay, you that I put this adhesive on the wrong side of this one. Oh, well, I'll just put it down for now. Got my pencil lines on the other side. And then I punched out with uh, my, what do you call it, the crocodile. I punched out these three little berry pieces that are right here. And I'm just gonna apply them over here to the holly. Like so. And then all the only other thing I did that is different on here that I didn't do was I punched two little holes and added two little brads. But that's the little guy and that's the finished product. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.